Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I have some very, very breaking news, but also very important news. For everybody that thinks that we're watching the dollar go up in value, the DXY hitting 108, and we're seeing uh, stocks sell off, precious metals go down, I want you to understand what is going on behind the scenes, and I cannot be more serious about this right now. Just a couple of hours ago, I'm going to share the screen here. This letter came out from the Reserve Bank of India. And before you click off, I wanna to explain to you how very serious this is. The Reserve Bank of India made a, a death blow to the dollar right now. And again, I want you to understand, even though you see the dollar going up in value, it's a perceived value based on other currencies that are total crap. And you know what I'm gonna tell you right now, the dollar is not any better, it's just the best smelling turd in the punch bowl. Right here, in order to promote, uh, promote growth, of global trade with emphasis on exports from India and to support the increasing interest of the global trade community in INR. It has been decided to put in place an additional, an additional arrangement for invoicing payment and settlement of exports and imports in INR, that is the uh, Indian rupee. Before putting in place this mechanism, AD banks shall require prior approval from the Foreign Exchange Department of the Reserve Bank of India Central Office in Mumbai. Now, let's do this. We're going to stop sharing right now because I'm going to read a story to you right now. This is just a couple hours old. If you want breaking news, please hit the thumbs up button, get the algo woken up, and get this channel out of uh, YouTube jail right now. Thank you. And then I'm going to explain the implications of this. And we're going to show you how big of a deal this is because India has a lot to offer the world and now they're offering it not in dollars, but in rupees. It says India allows cross-border trade settlement in rupee to reduce the demand for the U.S. dollars and promote the domestic currency. I'm going to link this story below. It says, uh, encouraged by Russia's decision to facilitate global trade only in its domestic currency, i.e. the ruble, India's money markets regulator, the Reserve Bank of India, amended its law to facilitate traders to settle transactions in the Indian currency, the rupee. It says here, before putting in place this mechanism for availing of the new facility, however, concerned banks will require prior approval from the Foreign Exchange Department of the, the RBI. Now, I just talked about that right here. Now it says growing with time, India's leading trade partners in fiscal 2021 and 2022. It says right here, the, the leading trade partners in this year, the leading trade, number one, United States, number two, China, number three, United Arab Emirates, uh, number four, Saudi Arabia, and the list goes on. I'm gonna explain something, but first I'm gonna show you just how big of a deal this is. Please stick with me. All right, um, here we go. Top 10 India exports. Now I want you to understand, as of yesterday, if you were to buy these exports from India, you would be buying them from in, using dollars, which means if you were not the US, you were another country like China or Russia or any of these other countries around the world, and you wanted to buy mineral fuels, including oil, right? You would need to go and buy US dollars, which causes the demand, which brings the value up. And you would need to go back to India and say, I want to buy your oil. The number two thing, gems and precious metals. If you want machinery, including computers, iron, steel, organic chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and the list goes on. India is a massive, massive economy. And they have now just put the thumb up at the dollar, their nose up at the dollar and say, we don't want it anymore. So I want people to understand this right now. And I cannot be more sincere. For everybody that's looking at that strong dollar going up right now, there's a day where it's going to be gone. Why? Because countries around the world are abandoning it. I covered this story a year ago when I said almost to the day, 50 years later, after inking a historic agreement between Saudi Arabia and the US dollar, essentially OPEC saying, we are not going to sell oil outside of the US dollar. It created so much demand for the last 50 years, the United States has lived in a lap of luxury. That is no longer. And what you see as perceived value in a currency is completely false. Now, am I saying that tomorrow the dollar is not gonna go up more in value? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that there is gonna be a day where it is gonna completely fall apart. And I believe that time is here within the next 12 months. 
I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial professional, but I cannot stress enough. Stop looking at the value of the DXY right now and what its effect is on precious metals because there is a flipping happening right now. And I'm gonna explain this too, which most people don't understand. We have been in a liquidation event because of stocks falling in value. And so what has happened is people, I've said this many times, selling those assets, moving into dollars, creating a demand. At the same time, the uh, countries around the world like Saudi Arabia, now India, and many others have said, we're gonna stop trading with dollars. We're gonna start trading with our own currencies. And the war between Russia and China has, or I'm sorry, Russia and Ukraine has only exacerbated this issue. But what you're seeing is the demand from a stock market that has been propped up full of lies because of derivatives, where so many derivatives have been uh, put out. As a matter of fact, there's a CEO of a company I know, Keith Neumeyer of uh, First Majestic. He's talked about this before, where they've seen, um, and other CEOs have talked about, I've seen another CEO come out uh, and say, there's got to be something going on here because there's more shares trading than what we've got out there. It, it, there's, it, this is impossible. Something doesn't seem right. And that is exactly true. You are seeing an unwinding of a lie, people being deceived for literally decades and decades. The reason why you don't have paper shares out there anymore because it's easier to paper over things when everything's digital. So what you're seeing is an unwinding, a selling of those assets moving into dollars. And what's happening right now, it's the perfect storm because countries are walking away now. Now think about this, starting now, China no longer needs US dollars to go and buy its valuable oil from India. Now it may need dollars to go buy oil from uh, illustrious president, Jeff Morgan. Remember him? Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. Because he's selling oil to them at a time where our oil is is exploding in value. Our gas prices, diesel prices are exploding in value. But as of right now, China doesn't need that with India. And I'm telling you right now, there will be a day and it will happen like that. People need to wake up and stop looking at the illusion that is called the US dollar right now. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm just a dude with a bro walk and a dream, started a YouTube channel. And it's growing because of amazing people like you that are subscribed to this channel because you know that there is a lot more going on behind the scenes. It's what the book, The Wizard of Oz was written about. There's just a simple person behind the screen running the entire show. And it's called a fiat Ponzi scheme called the US dollar. Encourage you to please hit the likes button, hit the subscribe button. I thank you for that, but read the article and think, contemplate what's going on behind the scenes. Because when it flips, and I've, done, I've lived this before as an investor, a professional accredited investor, I've lived this before, where all the buildup from 2006, 2007, 2008 came, and it was like, oh my gosh, what do you mean I lost my job in 2008? What do you mean the stock market's crashing down? And yes, 50% to me, that's a crash. This one is gonna be like that on heroin. Is it gonna happen overnight? No, it never does. That's how crashes work. They go down a little bit and up a little bit, down a little bit and up and again. We've already seen 20, 25% taken off of most people's 401ks in the last since what, January. And yeah, we're going to have a little bit of reprieve, but it's all fake. Why? It's an illusion based on whatever the Federal Reserve says, because they want to make you feel good. Just like Ben Bernanke did in 2006. If you remember his famous uh, talk with Maria Bartiromo on CNBC. And for anybody that thinks she wasn't on CNBC, that's because you probably weren't investing back then, but she was. And he says, I really don't believe I understand or believe your thesis that housing is crashing. We've stemmed the tide. I'm, I'm just, I'm paraphrasing here, but we fixed the problem. And that's exactly what's happening with Jerome Powell today. They're talking heads telling you they fixed the problem. While you'll find out soon enough that behind the scenes, they were getting out. It's time to stand up, guys. It's time to be prepared and not scared. Understand what is going on. Don't listen to the narrative, watch the facts. And right now, the Bank of India just abandoned the dollar. And India is a massive country, massive player in the global scale of uh, selling goods and services. So go ahead and look in the description, read the article and make a decision for yourself. Where are you gonna be? Are you gonna be a part of Ninja Nation, people that are prepared, not scared and ready to rise up and take advantage of this crash? Or people that are just going to put their head in the sand and watch CNN? All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.